everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today I have designed this sporty looking uh, presentation slide and look at this beautiful animation. So I have designed two variants, one in the black and another in the white background. So before we move ahead to start this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, it would be great if you could join the channel that would motivate us to bring out more such beautiful presentation tutorials so let's start so in this tutorial what we need is parallelogram shape so we have inserted this parallelogram shape and uh, I mean aligned it to the left of the slide duplicate it and I have filled orange color so that we can easily differentiate it I am randomly changing the angle of parallelogram you can try uh, different angles as well so we need three parallelograms so I have duplicated it again and created another parallelogram uh, with a different angle so now let's go to the effects option and select this uh, first we need to bring the second parallelogram to the top and yes like this and now let's apply the shadow effect the center shadow effect make sure the blurness is high so that we can easily see the shadow and now we will do one more thing we will change the angle of the parallelogram I mean we will reflect it horizontally and for that you have to press the rotate button and now you can see a very sporty kind of design is coming out and I'm just slightly adjusting the angles so that I get the perfect finish here I'm keeping a small gap between the parallelograms because once we will insert the image it will look really nice so the idea here is we will group all these three parallelograms and once we will group it and you know to group the shapes you have to select all the shapes and press ctrl G on windows now once it is grouped insert image actually you have to right click go to the format shape and then click on fill picture and you will get uh, get this kind of effect here now again we have to apply the shadow effect on one of these uh, parallelogram so you can see a nice kind of design here you can also see the shadow now we have duplicate this entire group again and I have done this by pressing the control and shifting the group with the mouse so I have dragged it and we get the copy of it either you can you know control C and control V as well so we have slightly increased the transparency of the top layer and you can see a slight shift between the groups so we have these two layers one at the bottom one at the top the similar layers and the layer at the top is slightly shifted towards the left so that's why we are kind of getting this kind of effect now I'm just correcting the colors nothing uh, complicated here nothing complex so I'm just thinking what should be done next here what we can do here is to make it more beautiful let's insert another parallelogram here to give it a more sportier look and we will not I mean design a carbon fiber look like we get on the sports car and for that we have to insert this pattern and we will keep it kind of dark in the black color and we have chosen the lines pattern where the lines are you know at a certain angle 
so now you can see it looks like a carbon fiber here and now again duplicated it and reduce its height and width so now as we have inserted a new parallelogram here we kind of add some metal effect here and you know in every sports kind of banner or image a metal finish will look good so that's why i i'm using this kind of design here the metal finish and you can see it's looking really nice it's coming out um, pretty well and it's even looking realistic so now i have applied the shadow effect as well and yeah so i mean you can create such elements such small elements like in the form of circle rectangle trapezium and you can use these elements to you know write some text here some percentage uh, important KPIs for any slide uh, I know I've designed this slide from a sports perspective but you can use it for any any kind of topic to showcase your growth achievements some kind of percentage you can add a nice business image here or you can add a product image here and write uh, its properties on this metal finish so you know this slide will also work very well in uh, in any engineering presentation as well some industrial presentation i mean it's all about how you package it so you can change the color uh, in uh, according to the you know theme of your topic so i have tried to make it look more sportier so that's why i've used that carbon fiber kind of pattern you can keep it plain you can use gradient here so it's not like that you can use this slide only for sports presentation or some car enthusiast kind of uh, for, com uh, for some car company you can use it for you know any purpose any topic all you need to do is you have to change the styling uh, in terms of fonts colors so I have added a nice text here and you know how to insert the text in presentation it's not complex so so let's write some text on this metal part but before inserting text on this metal part uh, let's insert a nice logo here so I'm just drawing some random logo and you can insert the logo of a company or any icon here. You can use, use icons here that will also look good. So I'm just drawing some random logo here. Nothing important or complex. I've used two parallelograms and placed it at the left of the slide and it's not looking good at the moment so I'll change its position let's first insert the text on the metal part so I'm using Poppins it's a free font on uh, and I have and I have downloaded it from Google fonts and it's a really nice font and it becomes more beautiful when it is used in italics so now I have written race here and I have changed its angle so now you can see it's looking really nice font size is big let's reduce the font size and yeah now it, it is looking perfect now let's try some animation here the slide design is complete and let's try to add some animation here you have to select the group that we had created the group of three parallelograms with a truck image and you have to go to more emphasis effects and select blink animation 
start with previous slightly increase the duration go to and from the options you have to you know put it on loop so that it keeps on animating until the end of the slide and similarly we will have to apply the emphasis effect on the text here and for that we have to select start with previous and again we have to play it until the end of the slide and now you can see the effect is coming out really nicely I think text is not working here let's again select the emphasis animation here okay this might look good let's try this animation here let's play it until the end of the slide and press ok now let's see how it performs yeah so the slide design is complete and look at this beautiful animation it really tracks the eye uh, i mean the attention of the user so you can design such banners or animations and videos in presentation so i hope you like the design of this presentation slide and you can support us by subscribing to our channel you can join the membership and also you can hit the like button press the subscribe button share your thoughts in the comment section and you guys have been a great great support so thank you everyone have a nice day and share it with maximum number of users thank you